The American crocodile is a species of large crocodilus crocodile native to Central and South America, the Caribbean, and Florida. The most widespread of all crocodile species in the Americas, and also one of the largest. Central America, adult males easily reach 2.9 to 4 meters on average and a weight of up to 382 kilograms. But in many other places like Florida, they are much smaller on average. Average adults only reaching 2.5 to 3.85 meters long and weighing anywhere from 50 to 250 kilograms. American crocodiles in Florida reach a maximum size of around 4 meters in length and a weight of around 400 kilograms. Large adults of this species can reach 600 to 700 kilograms. Exceptionally large individuals reaching 5 meters and possibly even 6. This makes them one of the largest living crocodilians alive today, only the Gangetic gharial, the saltwater crocodile, Orinoco crocodile, Nile crocodile, or as large or larger. American crocodile is the second largest extant reptile in the neotropical realm. Behind the Orinoco crocodile are some skull remains that indicate a total length of 6 to 7 meters long. But again, they are just estimates. And they are not verified. The American crocodile, unlike most crocodiles, prefer brackish and saltwater habitats. There too, the saltwater crocodile. American crocodiles are apex predators, quite a varied diet. Adult American crocodiles will mostly eat fish, but they'll also hunt large land mammals such as opossums, many different deer species, raccoons, large prey such as tapirs. American crocodiles are known predators of lemon sharks. In fact, lemon sharks avoid American crocodile habitats. As American crocodiles have a massive geographical range, they have to compete with other large crocodilians such as the American alligator in Florida, in Central America, even in South America, the spectacled caiman. While in Caribbean, they have to compete with the aggressive semi-terrestrial Cuban crocodile. In Mexico and Belize, they have to compete with the another aggressive Morlitz crocodile. American crocodiles don't really compete a lot with these species. For example, in Florida, American alligators prefer freshwater environments while the American crocodile prefer brackish habitats. Of course, American alligators do venture into salt water and brackish waters, but they are not as well as adapted to live in brackish and salt water as the American crocodile. Also avoid competition with the Cuban crocodile, as Cuban crocodiles are semi-terrestrial, while American crocodiles are larger and more aquatic. And they also avoid competition from the spectacled caiman and the Morlitz crocodile, as they are much larger. Both of these species mostly like freshwater habitats. But occasionally, Morlitz crocodiles do venture into brackish and saltwater habitats, but American crocodiles are much larger than both of these species. Because of this, they will occasionally even hunt spectacled and more or less crocodiles. American crocodiles breed once in a year in late fall and early winter. Anywhere from 30 to 70 eggs at a time. Eggs and juvenile American crocodiles have many natural predators. Opossums, raccoons, American black bears, vultures, coyotes, all will happily eat American crocodile eggs and hatchlings, but adult American crocodiles will hunt these predators. It's at the right at the top of the food chain. The living relatives of the American crocodile are the Molets crocodile, the Orinoco crocodile, the Cuban crocodile, surprisingly the Nile crocodile. Despite the fact that the Nile crocodile is found across the Atlantic Ocean in Africa, it is very much likely that either a close relative or the ancestor of the Nile crocodile swam from Africa into the Americas and radiated into the four species of true crocodiles that are found there. IUC and Red List, the American crocodile is considered a vulnerable species. But American crocodiles are protected species in many countries such as United States of America. They are estimated to be around 2,000 American crocodiles in Florida alone. There are estimated to be approximately 2,000 American crocodiles in Mexico.
In Venezuela in the 1960s, American crocodile skin was banned because of overhunting for their skin. It was estimated to be approximately 10,000 American crocodiles in entire Central America. This may sound like a lot, but American alligators, which live in a smaller geographical range, have a much larger population reaching millions. Like the American alligator, which can survive in water temperatures of 7 degrees or less, American crocodiles cannot tolerate as cold temperatures. That's the reason they can only be found in South Florida or in other tropical areas. American crocodile attacks on humans are relatively rare. They are to many other crocodilian species, such as the saltwater crocodile or the Nile crocodile. American crocs are not as aggressive as some of the large true crocodiles. American crocodiles will mostly attack humans for self-defense or if they are provoked. Crocodiles can have a very strong bite force. A 3.2 meter long specimen can have a bite force of 979 pounds per square inch. Young American crocodiles have a much more narrower snout compared to adult American crocodiles. This is an adaptation to mostly eat fish. American crocodiles grow stronger and larger. The skulls also widen significantly, especially for large males. This is an adaptation to hunt larger prey. Like all crocodilians, their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads. This allow them to see their prey, but almost totally submerged beneath the water. And crocs can reach a top speed of 32 km per hour in water. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something interesting. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like to see more. And of course, have a great day. And if you have any suggestions, you can write in the comment section below.